issue ever. Oh, hi, and welcome back to another episode of First Issue Ever, the only show that concentrates 100% on the only number that matters in the world of comics, and that is the number one, issue one, to be more specific. I had a feeling you'd be back, my friend. <laughs> I mean, once one gets a taste of number ones, the only thing that will quench that thirst, satisfy that hunger, is more number ones. And hey, don't you worry. There are plenty more number ones where that one came from. I mean, I've got loads of them. But I'm gonna need a little something from you if you catch my drift. Yeah, I think you know what I'm talking about. I've seen you walking around, surfing the internet, dressed the way you do, working that mouse and keyboard. Yeah, and you wanna know what I haven't seen you doing? Subscribing, liking, and comment. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, so that's what I'm gonna need. Yes, in fact, spread the word around. That way, I can make more of these. Because if you don't, then I just might not come back and then you'll be jonesing for more number ones and you won't know where to go. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna keep making these till I'm long dead. How can I keep making them? Well, I can only assume that I'll have my consciousness digitized and put in a robot body, thus making me immortal. Then I can keep making these shows until the end of time itself. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. And uh, thank you to the four people who've already subscribed. I'm going to keep making these just for you. And uh, if that number has increased by now, which hopefully it has, welcome aboard. My name is Steve, and we're going to be friends till the end. <laughs> All right. I've got a new number one. And uh -oh. hmm, that's odd. I wasn't expecting any visitors. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a doorbell. Better go take a look. Oh, well, if it isn't- Boom! What's up, Steve? It's your cousin, Ultra. That's Mr. Ultra to you. Look, I need a place to hold up. There was a rumble downtown and uh, things got ugly, okay? So I'm gonna stay here. You, uh, you look like you need to run about 50 laps, all right? So don't come back until I call you and tell you to. All right, all right, uh, I'm going, I'm going. Huh, you sack of crap. What's all this crap? One of those stupid YouTube shows about comics that's constantly ragging on Marvel and DC? That's a waste of time. What's this jazz music playing? Here, let's get something a little better. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, who am I? The name's Ultra, Mr. Ultra. I'm Steve's cousin. I hail from parts unknown, and I am the world heavyweight internet champion in parts unknown. Uh, what's this? Ringside number one by Image Comics. You know what? I've actually read this and I'm gonna tell you ungrateful marks all about it. Now me, I don't read too many comics. You see, I spend my time beating guys up in the ring, pinning them one, two, three, and collecting belts, money, and women. Not like Steve who just sits in this sad little excuse for an apartment doing nothing but reading issue after issue of number one, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna collect all the number ones, who cares? I bet I could do a better review than Steve who just gets on here and rambles and acts all weird. Ringside number one, it's by Joe Keating and Nick Barber. You've sort of seen this story before in the movie called The Wrestler. It's this guy, his name is Frank Canassus. He used to be the Minotaur. He didn't save any of his money for back when he was a big star. The book opens up with him in Japan and he needs to go back to the US to meet one of his old friends. And he's beaten down and he's sick of the world of wrestling. It's a very dark adult tale about what goes on outside of the world of wrestling. Now there's been wrestling books before, but none of them focus on the people outside the ring, quite like they do in ringside. Now why did I initially pick this book up? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. I'm a wrestler. This book is about wrestling, so I wanted to check it out. And boy, am I glad that I did, because the story 
was really quite amazing. Maybe not as amazing as Mr. Ultra. Must be China. Oh, 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 oh. But pretty dang amazing. Now the story, the dialogue, and the characters mesh together about as well as a figure four leg lock performed by Ric Flair himself. Now the art on the other hand, maybe you could say it's an acquired taste, but I felt that a lot of the art was very rough to say the least. Now I know that's probably a stylistic choice, but there were panels where I just felt like a figure was rushed or the perspective was just a little off. I have a hard time criticizing illustrators because I myself cannot draw at all. I do my art in the ring. I'm not gonna judge too harshly since it's the very first issue. And besides, the story is what really stands out here. If you're any fan of wrestling at all, you're gonna wanna buy this anyway. Will I, Mr. Ultra, continue reading more issues of Ringside? You bet I will. The book ends on a very powerful cliffhanger where you know you've got to see what happens next. I mean, it almost feels like one of those TV shows, like a Sons of Anarchy, uh, before it started sucking. In fact, this would probably make a really good TV show, and it's only a matter of time before either this gets picked up or one of the networks rips off this idea and makes it into a TV show. Much like The Renegade was a ripoff of The Ultimate Warrior, but we all know that. Should you buy it? If you can look past the art, yes. Even if you're not a wrestling fan, it's still a story about human beings in here. And that might not make you want to shuck out $3.99, but it is 32 pages. For the story, for the beginning of what I'm sure is going to be a really great series, I, Mr. Ultra, personally think that it's worth it. Now, if you're not a wrestling fan, if you have to have perfect art, maybe you don't like dark uh, human interest stories, then this is not for you. Uh, you might as well go check out the latest issue of My Little Pony, uh, which I hear is quite nice. <clears throat> but I've never read it myself. I was only there to get directions on how to get away from that comic. Well, I better go see what that idiot cousin of mine is up to. <laughs> Probably stuffing his face with Twinkies. So, uh, what is it people always say here? Oh yeah, like, subscribe, share, all that other stuff. This is Mr. Ultra, signing off for first issue ever.